the drive through you're the host of the show. I'm the star, of course, but you're the host of the show. And, and, and you pick the questions from the cult of Cornette and you direct the tone of the, that you welcome people and tell them that, that they're our friends. And, and you, you're the major domo around here on a drive through side of things. And all day now you delayed our recording time because you just didn't, just didn't feel too good. And then we get on the telephone and, and you're saying, well, I'm trying to find some good questions. You said you've got some things, right, Jim? You're trying to get me to do your business for you today here. Well, no, for the record. And for once I was in a cheerful and, and compassionate mood and it was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go with the flow here. Let Brian run this whole thing. He'll, he's such a professional. He's always good. He's got the knowledge. He'll run this whole thing. It'll be a breeze. I'll sit back on cruise control today and do what I do. It'll be an easy day. And when I'm being expected to carry a load, to shoulder a burden, and and I expected you to 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 like them that Bergam. Did I ever tell you that story? You did. I, that was uh, okay. What was it? Nick Goulas? No, Coco Ware. Coco Ware. That's but, right. That's right. Buddy Landell, I'm gonna like them your Bergam. See, go back in the YouTube clips if you want to know what we're talking about. But anyway, what do you have to say in response to what I've just said? Well, there are elements of the truth in what <laughs> you just said. However, they be just elements. You said, I was in a good mood for once. For the record, this would have been twice. You were in a good mood this past week on The Experience. The name of the show was Jim is in a good mood. Well, that's true. Because you watched NXT and it was a good show. We'll see if they could have two in a row, which would be remarkable. No, I called you earlier to say, hey, can we push back a little bit? I'm a little beat down today, a little tired. And you said, oh, that's fine. I've got things for the show. Now it's become, I said, now, Jim, do you have things for the show? Can you please help me with the show? <laughs> Elements of the truth. Please, can you please help me? I mentioned that I was just going to chime in with a few things today, if I could, if I could get permission, because it's your program. Would you like me to do some chiming here at the top of the show? This could put everybody else in a, in a, back in a good mood after they've listened to us bicker. And instead, they'll all be giggling like schoolgirls with shiny new vibrators over this. I, I don't know where you're going to go. However, permission granted. <clears throat> all right. Well, it, we asked here on the experience this past week when we reviewed all polite wrestling and whatever. <sighs> Chris Jericho, chapter 17 of his midlife crisis was he and his badass backup Bellator MMA fighter had a, a match with a meth head from a trailer park and his partner, the, the Swayback Sunny Kiss. And we mentioned in the process of talking about how rotten and awful it was that, that it was a, a shame that, that Jelly... Jelly Nutella and Sunny Kiss do not have a tag team name because that would complete the overall package and make them indeed replace the Ding Dongs on the, at the pinnacle of the worst tag team ever in history. And we solicited members of the Cult of Cornette to come up with some team names for Jelly and Sunny. Would you like to hear some of the team names that the cult of Cornette members, Brian, have submitted to help this this great gimmick achieve its proper place on the on the top of the list of the all time most rotten tag teams ever. I'm not sure if I do. I want to remind you in advance that this is a family program, so please be careful with what you say. And I will what say, are the, the, what of the Adams family? The listeners have gone a bit haywire with this because I was inundated on Twitter and especially in the emails. With various submissions for I I don't see any I don't see any submissions or emissions or any of the transmissions that are that it contain any profanity. Uh, there's no profane language here. The cult of coronet members are all high class individuals, fine people that use their left and right turn indicators in their car. Uh, but they do they did submit some some uh, some names, and I just thought we'd run down a few. And folks, if you like any of these, feel free to share them or 
uh, you know, do whatever you do with them. We, I don't know if we've got an official uh, poll going or anything, a vote. It's just some of the options. If anything catches on, I'm sure we can pass it on to these boys so that they can complete their ensemble. Anyway, the first submission, peanut butt her and jelly. <laughs> That's so, it's so stupid. What is, what is this? The next tag team name, Pretty Shitty. That's Pretty bad. Shitty. That's not bad. How about this? Too Cold Sodomy. No, that's awful. That's, that's not even, terrible. That's, that's not even that's good. Like, what the fuck? That's not I even funny. Know. I don't know. It seemed. That's it not seemed. even funny. <laughs> How about this? Ladies and gentlemen, the team Nut Butter and Jelly. <laughs> you know, there was a trend, Brian, back in the 80s after the success of the Midnight Express and the Rock and Roll Express, there were uh, many expresses, Lightning Express, and the, the basically all the express teams you've ever heard of here updated just for Jelly and Sonny, the Cornhole Express. Oh, well, you know, real quick, not that I approve of any of this. However, I'm, I'm looking through the drive through emails right now looking for questions, and I ran into some submissions from someone named Vigo B. And on that last one, he had the Sit Down to Piss Express. <laughs> <laughs> The shark, uh, the shark foundation. The, the shark. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, there. How about this one, ladies and gentlemen? Smucker up and kiss. That's not bad. That's that's actually not bad. That's pretty good. Um, gives you a chance he, to go to Smuckers to try to get a sponsorship deal. I think that's a good yeah. One. He could have the the jar on his on the ass of his tights. There's plenty of room if he we wanted to have a case. Um, how about this, folks? The unwatchables. That's good. That you know that gets to the root of things. <laughs> That's pretty good. But is it is it flamboyant enough, or do we want to go with the more flamboyant team name, Technicolor Yawn? <laughs> That's actually fantastic. That is um, fantastic. <laughs> or we could we could go back down to more of a, a Disney uh Disney team name type the the Forgotten Dwarves Greasy and Cheesy. Eh. Eh. How about this? We're going back to the flamboyant side, but with a nod to Jelly's home life. Meth and makeup. Meth and makeup. I, like that. I don't That's know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I did see someone said in one, the name of it was like Sunny and Meth Head Share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. If they sign with impact, if they sign with impact, bound for glory holes. Oh, Boo. oh, tasteless. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you get some kind of taste in your mouth in a place like that. Um, how about this one, folks? Maybe they could be a brother team. The talent twins, slim and none. Okay. That's a, uh, sounds like Bobby Heenan came up with that one. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, Cirque du Soleil and some guy. <laughs> That's good. That's good. But that doesn't really give both equal billing. So how about the team of nuts and ass? And, uh, you know, well, he's, he, he does so have the, stupid. he stupid. does have the T as well. <laughs> A more a more subdued uh, uh, entry, the team of that time of the month. 
don't know what they were driving at there. <laughs> that was that was all right. Uh, bring it back to to both of them equal billing, folks. Here they are, fancy and flabby. Okay, I think that's if they were in the WWE. I think that may be what they. What, yeah. yeah, that probably wouldn't. Uh, but fi- no, this is actually their WWE Attitude Era name, folks. Finally. If they were a team in the WWF Attitude Era, the How Do These Guys Have a Job Squad? <laughs> From, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, folks. I'm telling you. Right there. From the cult of Cornet members that were sent to the home office in Lincoln, Nebraska. The team names for Jelly Nutella and Sunny Kiss. Thank you, folks, for your contribution to the program this weekend. I mean, some of, I'm looking at some of the ones that were sent in here. They're all ridiculous. Like, like some of them just are not funny. It's just random curses. Put well, together. it's actually, you, when you think about it, it's it's kind of fits, too, because the, the team is not funny and just random. Some of these are just completely inappropriate. <laughs> we'll get through well, some. Just, well, like what? Like what? I'm not, I'm not saying a few of these. I'm definitely not saying some of these. I thought I was I was quite unprofane there. I didn't utter any vulgarities or epithets. The Exotico and <laughs> Express. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that on... You? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Probably I think it's not. a no-no except in England. But uh and but and I see what they did there. They thought you were going with the one and then they went the other. You know, because actually well, you know, when you think about it, Sonny is more manly than Jelly because at least he goes to the gym. Sonny, that is. <laughs> All right, this is your program. You know, I mean the thing is though, I said it to you the other day and I saw Suzanne's reaction. Sunny Kiss at least has the ability to make people stop and say, what is this? What's going on? And Sunny Kiss at least is somewhat athletic. So, do, so does your fucking elderly neighbor down the street when he's standing out in the front yard masturbating and screaming at the fucking raccoons. He, he gets you to you know look at him. But is it is it an experience you really want to go through again? My point is, it's Jelly. That's the person in the tag team. That has absolutely no business being on a national broadcast. That well, everyone, that's a gift. everyone sees that guy, and it's like, why is this guy on TV? He sucks. AEW fans say this guy sucks, and a lot of people love you. What did you say on the show when he was in there with Jericho? That it was like looking at. <laughs> I said it was like a before and after ad for the effects of alcoholism and a sedentary lifestyle on meth heads. <laughs> It just, it, it was a, 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 I don't know whether it was a sobering, I don't know which one it was, it should have been sobering for, whether it was a sobering thought for Jelly to see that he might end up like that, or a sobering thought for Jericho to see he's ended up like that, but never looked like Jelly. He was quite a striking young athlete in his prime. I don't know what's going <laughs> he on. He does look like meth head Jericho. That is funny. <laughs> Well, now, don't just laugh just because you can't. <laughs> don't just laugh because I'm saying this. You I'm laughing because it's funny. It's no, funny. No, you're being, you're being a sycophant. What? A, sycoph- a sycophant? Are you, are you sick of a, are you sick of, what are, what are you sick of? How do you pronounce that? You're being sycophantic. If that's how you feel, I take it back. That's what the fans doesn't say. doesn't look like meth head Jericho. I didn't say that. So now you're being a sycophant. I, I agree with you. Whatever I need to, Sick whatever I need to say to agree with you. No, they get mad when we agree with each other, because intelligent people are not supposed to agree with each other. We don't agree with each other on women's wrestling. So any of you who think we only agree with each other? Go listen to those segments and pizza. 